Hello, and welcome to the Extreme River and Tide Adventures. We are live, Matthew right Ford. This is insane guys. This is absolutely insane. This is insane man. I mean here's another spot to catch fish. You can sit here and catch fish right outside this crazy cave. You got a camp spot right over here on the other side of them. Dude! <laughs> what, what more can you ask for? As a fisherman, I mean I don't know too many fishermen that aren't that aren't nature freaks as well, so. What? And it's only a two hour drive at most with stops to get here. Like to drive that bottom? You won't be pissed.
Fork Smallmouth. First Rocky Fork Smallmouth. Fairies. This is where you're gonna find them. I'm telling you right now. I'm not trying to run into you, Joe. Look at this thing, dude. There's trees growing on top of it. Look at the fishing hole you got in front of you. Knock these weeds down. Grab, grab your stick, knock the weeds down, and you've got Camp Spot 101. Look at it. You can climb up on top of this. I mean, what, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? You want to fish while you're camping? Go over here. You just want to climb up on a cliff and say you camped on it? There you go. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. fishing hole. The parking for the sanctuary is like, according to the map, is somewhere up on top of this mountain somewhere. I see like a fence or something way up at the top of this rock. Looks like it's probably an overlook. So most people, that's all they get to see of this. Dude, this, this place is absolutely unbelievable. It's awesome. Good bass, dude. Alright, this is just a quick look at Rocky Fork Creek. This is actually two different weekends. Uh, two different trips. One weekend right after another smashed into the one music video. I'll explain why here in a minute. Um, we put in at uh, Barrett's Mill Dam on the first, or on both trips, on both trips. Very easy put in. Our first 
trip we took out just below rocky fork meets up with paint creek and just below that there's a set of rapids everyone refers to as the chutes we took out about a half a mile down below that on a little road called blair road right off of 50. Uh, our second trip we took out at route 50 bridge you park right at the bridge and you've got a short walk back to your vehicle when you get there and then you can back basically right down creekside and load your stuff up route 50 was probably a little bit easier of a takeout um we haven't had any rain around here in about two months so all my local streams are probably lower than i've ever seen them in the 20 years i've been doing this rocky fork was extremely low as well and i drug bottom so much that it messed up all my audio my camera sits on a, a camera mount right behind my seat and anytime i hit anything in that it goes through the plastic of the yak up the camera mount and into my camera so it messed up all my audio um if we get some rain here in the near future which i'm really hoping we do falls here the temperatures have dropped off we're down we've had a high of 65 for the past week really looking forward to getting some rain we're going to go back i'm going to do a full-on documentary of this place the fall bite is on the fish are going crazy right now feeding so i really would like to get back out there and do some fishing and it's really hard to do you're dedicated to doing about four miles once you get out there i got a two hour drive to get there from home so unless we leave extremely early even then i mean it's you're pretty much on an all-day thing out there with the water as low as it is you're dragging through every little spot and you don't have time to fish but to get in order to get to the end before dark so uh, i'm really really looking forward to some rain um that's the plan uh there is a nature sanctuary back in there if you can google this rocky fort creek nature sanctuary i think is what it's called and uh there's some hiking trails and stuff for you to check it out if you're not into the kayaking thing. If there's any questions uh, you guys might have, drop them down in the comments below. I'm usually pretty good about getting back to answering them. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so down at the bottom. And hopefully you'll join us on the next one.